Hi, I'm Ben with Teleport, and today I'll be walking you through how you can use Google Workspaces to log into Teleport. Now, this is one of our more complicated SSO integrations due to a few things you need to set up with Google Workspaces. Initially, I recorded this with 4.1. Um, most of it is the same, um, but I'm just going to give you a refresh for Teleport 6. You need to be a G Suite super admin. So this is likely you you might have to work closely with your IT department to get all of the permissions and roles needed to, to make this work. You also need the ability to create a GCP project, also in a sort of super admin, have a verified domain name and the ability to set up groups. In my environment, I've already set up Teleport using our getting started guide. If I uh, just log in here, uh, Teleport. Admin, we log in. You can see that um, I have the team, I have users and roles. Actually, before what you see that I don't have all the connectors yet, I'm going to configure this later. But let's just sort of walk through the instructions to get started. So, first thing to do is obtain the OAuth2 credentials. So, we have this page here. Um, we'll go to the credentials page. And the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you're logged in as the right user. This is my personal account, so I'm going to uh, log in under the practice account. And you see I have a few credentials from uh, older demos. So let's go back. We want to make sure that we have a OAuth client ID. And it's going to be a web application. Give it a name. And we also need to add in here the authorized redirect URI. So this is going to be, we have instructions here. It's going to be the cluster name plus cluster port. And then this is just sort of standard. So. Okay, so now I have the client ID, which I'm going to just save into a scratch pad here for use later. And we just check the domain name for verification. So in our case, we don't have any domain names verified, so we need to set this up. So it's going to be um, asteroid. Earth, and we need to add a DNS record. And it's just for the, it's just a text record that we need to create. Okay, so we now have it verified. Okay, so let's go back to our instructions and add it for our cluster name, which is going to be 61. And we have this domain name added. Okay, so now we have the OAuth2 credentials. We have the redirect URL, so let's come in here. Next thing we need to do is create a service account. This service account is going to be used for obtaining groups, and this is going to be in GCP. Next up, we're going to create the service account for Teleport. So we're just going to call it Teleport61. And then for role type, we can just leave this empty role and access, we just leave empty. So we have the account created, number the six one, this one here. So the next thing is we leave the service accounts permissions blank and roles and admin blank. And then we need to enable account delegation. Service account we just created and service G Suite Y delegation has been selected. Next up, we need to download the service account JSON account page. We add a key. And we're just going to, to save it to file. And then go on to the next step. So this file needs to be uploaded to the authentication server. And then we'll reference this later as Google Service Account URI. 
Next up we need to do is we need to manage the API scopes. This is a little bit complicated. So we need to go now to our um, G Suite domain. So, so Google Workspace. I'm just logging in as a, the practice user. So in here, we will come in and we want to be selecting security settings and then advanced settings, manage API client. So security. Uh, API controls and select this uh, manage domain wide delegation. And then in here, when we add new, this client ID has to be the client ID of the service account, not the client ID of the OAuth connector. So let me give you an example. In here, we have 6-1 Teleport. This client ID is the incorrect one. Did you come down here and see the service account that we created and you use this service ID? So if I come back to demo in my delegation, and then the uh, OAuth scopes, we have this snippet here. So next up, we're going to create the OIDC connector. Um, to get started, I'm just going to put this into a scratch pad that we had earlier to um, get things going. So uh, here's my scratch pad. We have, this was our client ID. And then this is our secret. Uh, we're going to map roles, claim with groups. And then this is going to link to our Google Groups. Our group email has to be one that exists in our G Suite domain name. So if I come into our app to see which groups we have. So we have a directory of users and groups. I have one group called dev, one called group called admins. I'm going to use the admins group. Admins at uh, practice.io. The G Suite, Google Suite admin. In my case, it's this user here, which is Ben at practice.io. I'm going to upload this file, and this was the one that we downloaded earlier. Issuer is from Google. The redirect URI is going to be the one that we um, already set. So it's, in my case, it is uh, 61asteroid.earth. And then on uh, port 443. And we're scoping for um, open ID and email. Okay, so this is uh, now ready to go. And we're going to use tcuddle on the auth server. So we come to my terminal. I'm SSH into this host. So you can see teleport is installed, teleport version um, 6 1 beta. And then I'm going to create a G suite.yaml and then paste this in. And you see everything is configured. So the next thing we need to do is create this um, var lib teleport um, JSON grids. And because I downloaded it, we'll come in here. Here is the service credentials. Okay. And um, we already have a few roles. Um, in my case, we use the role admin. Actually, I'm going to, um, we have a few built in roles now. So I'm going to actually uh, edit the um, G Suite.yaml. And then make this into um, access. Okay. 
And then the last thing we need to do is we use tcuddle to create this connector. And you can see G Suite has been connected. So now if I come here, if I log out, we now have a login with Google button. So we just select the account again. And now you can see that I have connected and everything has um, worked successfully. I've been now logged in as Ben, um, ben at practice.io and everything has been configured. This brings me to the end. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Thank you.